Hello everybody, this is Longinus, Longinus Fernandez and you are watching me on Talkative Tidbits. Keep watching. I basically prefer Hollywood only for one particular reason that is the precision. The precision and the zest towards doing it in the most apt manner. We are getting there with great guys like uh, you know Rithik Roshan and Shahid Kapoor and Tiger Shroff. They are the ones who have actually set the trend. Varun Dhawan is also following suit and so that's a great feeling. I only wish there comes a time where people will be inspired by Bollywood and take it to Hollywood. Like, there are times where it has actually happened, you know. So people have been really excited about the music and they have used uh, Chama Chama in Mola Rouge and all that. So that's a great feeling. Like you use, uh, what do you say, uh, Joom Barabar Joom in second best Mari Gold, which was choreographed by yours truly. So I'm really happy about that. So when people try to take things from here and put it up there. So that is the only thing that is the key. But basically, it is Hollywood all the way because they've been doing it over the years and they will keep continuing to do the same for years and years to come. Bollywood choreography has actually evolved over the years. There's been a lot of change. Back in the day, it was, it was also very, very good when you see uh, iconic songs which were very brilliantly choreographed by, uh, uh, what do you say, you know, Satya Narayan ji and you name it, the, the best in those days, Hira Lal and Sohan Lal Ji and all that. They, I think they were really fabulous. They did Hoto Pe Si Baat and they did Chuniri Ratma and all. And you name it, the works. You know, so when you see songs like these, you actually feel that, you know, there is a lot of scope and there is a lot of things that one needs to learn in the aspects of choreography. Because in today's time, every second Tom, Dick and Harry, sorry for using these lines and these words, but because you feel you can dance, they feel that even they can choreograph and all thanks to the reality shows and so on and so forth. So they feel really good about it and that's fine till one aspect because there are various mediums of choreography which one has to understand. Like there is film, there is ads, there is stage, there is theatre, there is musicals, there is Bollywood broadways, there are Hollywood broadways. That's all different aspects of choreography. It depends how you place yourself. Now what happens in, what do you say, the classic films that you see in, in uh, Bollywood, they have taken the movie and the story and the, the what do you say script ahead within the choreography and that's what the actual mark of choreography is all about what saroj khan has done in various songs in devdas like you know be it mar dala or maybe you know dolare dola and so on and so forth i think there was nobody better than that who could have delivered you know, at the box office or who would have delivered and done justice to a song. So, hats off to you, Sarojji, and seeing you, we've all, you know, tried to be inspired and after seeing you, we've realized that what choreography actually means when it comes to being aesthetic and when it comes to keeping the originality the way it should be. Then when you look at it, when you see something which is a novelty, I would like to look up at Farah Khan, you know, and Ahmad Khan because they are people who have bought something new on the table because when you're looking at those kind of songs, there's so much of vibrance, there's so much of, you know, exuberance, be it Rangila or be it, you know, DDLJ, like Rukja O Dil Diwani, or be it, what do you say, Pailan Asha. People have actually liked what they have seen because they have never imagined something like this also could be done on the uh, uh, on Bollywood films. Ganesh Acharya is a brilliant choreographer. He is the man of the masses. He can make anybody move and he can make them move and look good. There's this gentleman who I worked with. Back in the day, he was a newcomer, but now he's left everybody spellbound because he's delivered at the box office time and time again. His name is Ranbir Kapoor. He began his career with Savarya, and I knew for a fact that there was the making of a star and the making of a superstar both put together in one man. Because when I worked with him on that song, the title song of Savariya, Savariya, you know, and he had to do certain things like a crazy guy. And believe me, it was not right up his alley, but 
the kind of effort that he put, he made it look effortless. So that's the greatness about that character and that's the greatness about that actor who gets, you know, actually sunk into whatever he's supposed to do and makes it look like hot knife through butter. You know, I'm really uh, thankful that I could have a chance to uh, work with people like Mr. Sanjay Leela Bansali, who's actually a brilliant technician when it comes to song picturization, song conceptualization, and song choreography. So he is one of those few talented, what do you say, uh, film directors. Basically, he's an illustrious filmmaker, and that everybody knows. He's been so ebullient in whatever he does, and he's everything, and he's made everything look larger than life. And there's a meaning for that. The meaning is not anything else, but the meaning is style, elegance, and grace. He's made his artists look so graceful. Like, it's a dream to work with them. Like, I have worked alongside, together with Mr. Bansali on various films, be it Savaria or be it Guzarish. And he's made every song look much more different than what it actually should look in reality. There's nothing that can be, uh, what do you say, you know, complete without me speaking about the great guy, Danny Boyle. Danny Boyle gave me an opportunity of a lifetime. All he said was, you know, Longi, I have called for many people and they all thought that they would meet me at their free will and that never happened. You're the first person who has come and met me and you have been on the dot. So whatever it is, you're working on this film and we are working together. So that is something that I'm going to take to my grave, you know, because not many people have said that in the manner that he said it. So that's a great thing about that man. And he said, you know, uh, let me see what you have done, if, if at all you have uh, been able to carry something along. And I showed him a song and I said, there are many more to come. He's saying, no, I don't need to say anything more. Whatever I've seen, I've really liked. And you can talk shop with the producers and we are on. And that song was Lift Karade Remix. He saw that in the Basti and he felt that this is full of Masti. And that's what it is. The rest is history. Yeah.